Hey video friend, Liz Clava here. Uh, come with me while I finish building out my fall capsule wardrobe. So if you saw the video about my fall style inspo, sorry, I'm making all kinds of a mess back here with the stuff moving. I talked a little bit about the pieces I was pulling and I put all of those here in my closet and they reflect a bunch of the different trends. So one trend I talked about was uh, wine. Um, I don't really have too much wine, except I do have a pair of kind of wine colored shorts. I think I mentioned those in that video because it'll be warm here for a long time. So I'll still be able to wear shorts. Um, what are some of the other trends? All things denim, right? So I pulled some denim things from my out of season that I'm going to use in this wardrobe this year. I also talked about green. Um, oh, there's a little bit of wine in this blouse, green in this one. And then I also talked a little bit about nautical and how nautical is generally a spring summer style trend, but we're seeing it for fall winter as well. So I pulled kind of one of my stripy marinier type shirts. Um, so yeah, so those are some of the, oh, and all the animal print. Woo, so there's my animal print skirt and an animal print blouse, right? So those are the pieces that I pulled. And I think, and this one as well, this plaid, um, there's 17 pieces there. And so now what I need to do is that is not gonna be enough bottoms, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't have any blue jeans in there, right? I have some faded black jeans that are now gray jeans. So I need to pull things from my summer wardrobe in to complete this, to make it wearable, uh, particularly since our weather either here is still pretty warm. So what am I gonna pull? Well, I did mention those burgundy shorts. And so what I did was I took my white shorts out. Um, I will keep some white jeans though, but let's just sort of start at the beginning. Um, some of these pieces I've already worn. So this blouse, very summery, but you know what? It has some of the more fall colors in it. It's got the greens. And so I'm gonna put this in here to wear. This empty hanger you see here is for the shirt I'm wearing right now, this plaid. Uh, I'll throw another, woo, throw in hangers on the floor. Throw another striped shirt in there because it gives me some options of sleeve lengths and I like that idea. Uh, what else? Well, wine, what do I want to wear with wine? Um, for a lot of people, it would be, and actually for this month's copycat style, uh, it was wine with animal print and denim. Um, but I really like wine and pink. We're not seeing nearly as much pink as we did last year, but I'm still good with pink. It's a great color for me. It's kind of one of my signature colors. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw some pink shirts in here too. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. So throw some pink shirts in. I always need a white shirt. Um, not everybody needs a white shirt, but I do. It works well for my cool coloring and this one's linen, so it'll be perfect for the next few months while it's still hot, but it does have the three quarter sleeve. So yeah, perfect, perfect for that. Okay, got some shirts. Now for me, all the denim shirts, uh, but what other shirts do I have from summer? This floral, nope, letting that go. Put, well, I shouldn't say letting it go, putting it away for next season, um, wash it, store it, and see if I fall in love with it again. Uh, aqua polka dot linen, no, don't need it. Uh, gingham feels too summery. Stri okay, this is kind of a denim blue stripe. Yes, I will be able to certainly wear that for sure. Uh, polka dot, little cute peplum, not feeling it for fall. Denim blouse, yes. And by the way, I changed the buttons on this blouse. I talked about that in another video. I don't remember which one. So change the buttons out for being multicolored to gray. So it's a little more subdued, a little more subtle. So yeah, there we go. Okay, and you can see I have three denim shirts here. That's probably too many. They actually all have different sleeve lengths and different styles, but I'm a, I'm a girl, I'm a denim girl. I love my denim, so three is not too many for me. Uh, navy silk tank, not worried about it, don't see happening. I have two black tops here. I have this one, which I could change the buttons on as well, and then I have this one, which is a linen vest. And you know what, I'm gonna hang on to the vest. It's more structured, and we're definitely seeing more structured looks this fall. Seeing more tailoring and more structured looks, so we're gonna hang on to that as well. Not sure if it'll get a whole lot of wear, but we'll throw it in there just in case. Uh, white shorts, I mentioned already. Not gonna hang on to those. Um, Multicolored shorts, let those go too. Blue shorts, I'll keep. So I've got two pair of shorts in here. That should do me for the most part. Okay, 
um, long polka dot skirt. Not feeling it, even though it's a nice maxi length. Denim maxi, yep, all things denim. Let's do that. All things denim. Jeans, yes. Putting those in there and the empty hangers for the jeans I'm wearing right now. White jeans, hmm. On the fence, considering. Uh, these kind of lavendery pinky pants, trousers. A uh, little on the fence about that as well. Uh, white cutout dress, no. Put that away for a season. Polka dot dress, black and pink. You know what, this I'm gonna hang on to because it's super airy and comfortable. Um, and it looks great belted and belting is a huge trend for this season. So yeah, I think I'm gonna hang on to this one. I'll put that in here. All right, what else? Um, uh, Another blue and pink, this kind of more of a, I don't want to say it's a maxi dress, but yeah, there we go. Mm, very summery, lightweight blue dress, blue dress with the cutouts. You know, this one is great for work if I wear it with a jacket. Um, and the black, my black kind of party dress. I will put the black party dress in there because if we go dancing, I want something that's got a very twirly skirt. So I'm gonna put that in there as well there. So I have right now one, two, three, four, I have five dresses. That should be more than enough. Oh, uh, jackets. Now this you might look at and go, well, that's not really a fall wintery jacket, right? I totally get it. It's not, I mean, the style, it looks very springy summery, but because I'm so inspired by the Manisha Aurora collection, and I talked a little bit about that in that video about my fall inspiration, I wanna keep this to do just some wild mix and match and color plays. Um, and you know what, I think I'll do a, probably do an Instagram Live about that. Um, and if I do it after this video comes out, then I'll post it. I'll post it in the links below, whatever. I'll get it there. It'll be there for you. So yeah, I wanna keep this, even though it is not what most people would consider a traditionally fall kind of print or pattern, I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it. Um, so there we go. Let me put that in there too. My denim jacket with the BVM on the back for sure. Gotta hang on to that. Alrighty. And then black linen, no, that one's leaving my wardrobe for the season. Not leaving it forever, but leaving it for the season. So let's come back to the things that I was a little iffy about. So white jeans. Yes, I'm gonna keep one pair of white jeans in here. Uh, so let me put those back in. Cause I really like white jeans with boots. And uh, yeah, white jeans is a lighter neutral. Um, that works really well for me. So I think I'm gonna be doing that. Now I'm back to these kind of pink trousers. <sighs> mm, I'm very on the fence about these. Um, and then I'm also on the fence about these two dresses here. So this one I'm gonna let, I'm gonna wash and store. The blue one, I'm also gonna wash and store. I think I'm gonna work with some other options, mostly because um, I have, I wanna, I wanna rock my animal print kind of sheath. Um, and I think I'll use that for businessy events. Um, and you know, hopefully it'll fit. And if it doesn't, I'll go back and find something else that does. So uh, on the fence, still totally on the fence about these. Let me know what you think. Do you think I should include these in my fall capsule wardrobe? Do you think I should skip it? Part of me really feels like I would love these. Yeah, part of me feels like I would love these with either one of the uh, Marinier shirts or with my white linen with some brown or tan accessories for winter. Uh, not for winter, excuse me, for fall, to get that fall vibe, that fall style vibe, maybe with some tortoiseshell bracelets, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe just maybe, just maybe. Um, also, if I had a burgundy top, if I can go dig out a burgundy top somewhere, beside this one, which, hey, I could wear that with that. If I could find another burgundy top somewhere, maybe in a storage box, um, yeah, then that would work too with these pink trousers. 
uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, how are you combining sort of summer weather and fall if it still feels very summery where you live? Or is it already, or if you're on the opposite side of the world, how are you combining winter with spring? There we go, winter with spring, who's coming? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, I do so love to hear from you that's what this is all about, right? I'm, I'm making content here for you. So if there's something you want to know about, and I will be talking uh, soon about belting because a bunch of people ask me about belting. Um, so I will be talking about belting for different body shapes and sizes. Um, yeah, yeah, kind of excited. This is looking a little more fall. We have some more deep colors and I wonder how many pieces I have here. So let's see. Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-five. So yeah, if I can find, you know, I think I have a burgundy sweater somewhere that would be really helpful. Um, yeah, and I'll have to switch out shoes, belt, and I need to pull in some belts because belts are really big this year. So I need to like do my shoes, belts, and scarves. Let me know if you'd be interested in a video about pulling those and kind of cycling those out as well. Um, otherwise, stay safe and sound sane and stylish, and thank you for spending a few minutes with me today because your time is precious and any of you spend with me as a gift. Bye.